Welcome back everyone to the Collegiate Aces series. Again, you know, we hope that your network is faster than one megabit per second because we're about to be going at 1,000 megabits per hour. Actually, I don't think that's even a lot. Terabits, terabit. I don't know how many, I don't know how quick per hour would be great, but you know what? I know what is great. And it's gonna be these guys hitting the pitch. Just like you talked about before, Kwanzek, it's a couple of five and seven teams and they have a chance to be able to even out and maybe uh, get that 3-0 and go to eight and seven. But any mixture of a three game aggregate can be occurring out of this one. At minimum, someone is at least gonna get to six and nine. So it kind of depends on what all ha happens. And no matter what, someone will be on the better end this yeah we're gonna see a shift in the standings for sure no matter what after the series as we're gonna get underway with the kickoff here 50 is gonna go immediately in favor of montco and here's cursed here there's star player up off the side while taking a 50 but that one's gonna fall flat in front of western colorado's net and they're gonna clear it out back to half field. maintaining possession taking better striking montgomery county mustangs they run forward the Furious wants to be able to do just that, but the Mountaineers, after last weekend, or last Tuesday rather, they're gonna try and posture up with some good defensive rotations, a bit of a bump onto the back lines, but the first 30 seconds have gone out of play. It's gonna be Kobachi, he's gonna make a nice read to keep that strike for going forward. And that's gonna be Dope Sauce now threatening at the net, trying to keep it into the corner. He doesn't have a whole lot of boost and a call for reinforcements. Smalls is that reinforcement. He's going to take a 50 in the sidewall, but Curse will beat him out and take this down the left side wall. That's off the backboard, but cleared away by Sean. And this one's going to fall all the way into the Mustang's corner. Here's Sean into the middle, looking for help. I hear somebody jump, and there's finally the touch that comes out, but it just spikes into the ground. And more ping pong comes out as we see Montco maybe regrouping here for an offensive. Here's a chip pass attempt. That one will be turned aside. Dope Sauce won't be able to find the redirect. And instead, it's a mean king sending it all the way back into the opposite corner. Western Colorado's got to be a little, a little bit more careful. I do like the strike, and they're getting, they're getting a little bit double commit heavy. And they're starting to leave their back door open a little bit wider each and every time they go forward. But on the opposite side, it will be Sean from the Mountaineers, from Western Colorado. They will be the first to strike. They form this lateral, a great pickup, and they just beat the middleman. Sean flashing the speed there as he's able to find the ball first, make the read quicker than Curse does, and just gets a little chip shot from the midfield, shoots into the open net. And that's an early lead for the Mountaineers as they're looking to extend this dope sauce up early off the corner. But the Mean King trying one from distance. That one's going to sail wide left and fly up. It's going to be a little bit of an awkward ball for Western Colorado. Let's see what they do with it. This one's dangerous into the middle, but turned aside by Sean last second, and they will keep their one goal lead. Early minutes of game number one have been able to allow both sides to really suss out where the, the offensive rotation is going and then trying to find those intercept lanes. Sean is speeding up the more time he's been able to read. Kobachi, top shelf. Oh, they just can't find a response. Just puts it straight at the goalie, dares him to make a touch. He's unable to do so in time. Great little solo play there by Kobachi. Chips it up to himself and just puts it up into a spot where the goalie won't be able to reach it. Smalls wasn't able to extend quickly enough, and there's the equalizers. We're nearing the halfway point in this game. Smalls off the kickoff, trying one immediately, but Kabachi sure and net gonna guarantee that save. Here's a mean king up. Won't be able to make contact. He was a little bit over that ball, but he'll stay with it. Follow up his touch here, and this one's going dangerously over the midfield. Curse is gonna take his time and collect. Won't be able to get much going here though. As small as trying one from distance, he has an open net to look at. Can he find the ball? Not enough boost to get there. And Dope Sauce not able to find the touch either. It takes all three, but Sean eventually is able to turn in the ball for their second goal. Kind of wonder, because Kobachi went very wide. He thought that Curse was going to be there in time, who was the nearest man, but it was because of the secondary and tertiary approach by the Mountaineers that they were able to get this one on, kind of like an off sync shot. And it allowed that one to just go behind Cursed, who currently has not been able to meet the speed differential he usually can post up. Now, Western Colorado, they'll be able in these last two minutes to start with the lead. Let's see if they can maintain it and build upon it. Blue 
minutes to either turtle up or extend their lead, although that's a very long time to play defense. As a double commit comes out, it's going to be Kabachi first there. He's trying to to the backboard. Dope Sauce gets a touch and two. It's helped out by Smalls who plays that towards the sideline. Now Dope Sauce will collect. He'll flip at the ball, not make contact though. And here's Kabachi going back the opposite side. Shot turned side by Sean. He gets a monster 50. Send that all the way down into the blue half. He, in fact, prioritized using just a little boost and got himself down to 90 to steal that mid boost to the rotation from the Mustangs. Wouldn't find much as they came out of that back corner where he got that 50 from. So very intelligent play so far as the Mountaineers just try to stay patient by losing control and possession. Dope Sauce has to bring up Smalls. That's going to be a shot on target. Oh, and it's an own goal save, but instead, Ooh. cursed is able to turn it in. Could have been travesty, but the Mustangs will tie us up. Uh, mean Keen unintentionally playing with their food there is they'll find the save and just tee up Cursed for a second shot attempt. That will be the equalizer, but that was almost disaster for the Mustangs as that ball nearly found its way back out of the net after the open net shot attempt by Cursed. They're trying to, I mean, Keen trying to look for redemption here as they're looking for a pass, but a little bit of miscommunication as Curse went for the demo. Here's Mean King into the middle for Kabachi. Plays it under, but not on target. Mean King shows off the speed, gets first to the ball. Dope Sauce with some space, taking it back the other way. Kabachi, interesting Ooh. touch. I did say why no Mean King has an open to shoot at, Ooh. but a huge demo comes out by Smalls. This is a back and forth transition play, and I don't know who it favors. I don't either because they just got a team pinch as Smalls has been chasing everything down. That demo kept the back line free. Otherwise, it was a free real estate shot. Kobachi looking to center it up. Another demo, but it's going to be on to Cursed, who is deleted, yeeted, and the entirety of the offense now depleted of the Mustangs. Up to the top shelf. Sean seeing if he can make the read. It will go higher. This will actually give enough time. Mustangs to be able to recover 10 seconds remaining. We are just in game number one of our three games set. This one will be on target. They're trying to crisscross Apple's sauce, but they will not be able to sauce it on target to the zone in the stripes. They've got to put it on, and instead, Mean Keen lets it hit the ground. We're in overtime in game number one. This is exactly what we were expecting out of this series. Two very close five and seven teams that could go any direction. Shot on early in OT. That one will sail wide left, but still pressure mounting. Mustangs are going to want a clear here as the Mountaineers are setting up. Here's a monster transition play. That one will get turned aside though. And Dope Sauce is going to drop that on to Sean. Mean King will collect though. And we have a little bit of some breathing room here. So it's been nonstop action recently. That 50 is going to come out. And you see both teams slowing down here. Not wanting to make a mistake in this OT in game one. Oh! As I say that, Sean makes me eat my words. He rifles a shot from the sidewall, puts some heat behind that one, and while Curse got a piece of it, it wasn't enough to force it out of the net. That's one that Kobachi is going to want back, and he's going to try and correct it going into game number two. He leaped up and boosted forward, trying to get a little bit of extra power if he could, but Every bit of direction that that one bounced was straight to the side wall. That was, there was all but inevitable for it to bounce back to the midfield and give Western Colorado at least a chance, a try. And as good as Curse and as fast as Curse is, is just not fast enough to stop that kind of heavy ruck. And we're looking at game number two with a very, very even scoreline, but a hat trick by Sean out here, Kwanzaa. Give me your rundown. This is your first time being able to see both these squads. They seem pretty close, don't they? Yeah, I mean, that game could have gone either direction. There was a series there where we had two and a half minutes of just nonstop back and forth play where it'd be a transition play all the way down to a pass and clear and just, it, it, it would be just non-stop craziness going on either side of the pitch and eventually it turned into an OT and that shot last second to bury that in, in overtime. But I'm in for a treat. I mean, that series was phenomenal and I, it, I'm, I'm excited for game two and three because this is definitely a, a match between two faded rivals at five and seven. And you wouldn't think that based on just the, uh, the the overall schedule that these guys have had to play, that it would be this even based on the record.
records, but you know what? It seems that they have uh, been able to kind of slice and dice it with uh, even Steven outcomes for a reason. Now cleaning up this, uh, the mistakes on both sides is going to be key. Possession for the likes of the Mustangs and Western Colorado just kind of getting out of their own way. They double committed quite a few different times. Look at this apprehension, but it becomes an extension of their play because if, if they don't know what they're doing, then maybe the Mountaineers don't either. We are going to see a little bit of a roster change for the Mustangs. Kabachi is going to be swapped out for Water Balloon. Uh, as we see a breakaway opportunity here for the Mountaineers, and they're just going to cash that one in, open that to shoot that, and they'll take those every day of the week. We see a little bit of a team bump there in the corner, and the third man, I believe, was on the opposite side, and that just turns into an easy 1-0 lead for the Mountaineers, and 30 seconds in, that's exactly what they won after they took the first game. Your rotation gets a little bit more lateral, kind of flat line in peril or in perpendicular to the goalies as they're staring at you from the box. Then you basically sure it up where the rotations are going to go. And I mean that in a bad way because in that capacity, you've opened up wide gaps behind you. Nothing really with a point behind it. Got to get a little bit more triangular. See if you can make that Dorito. Oh, a great redirect. And the Dorito. Oh, not enough cheese on that one. I believe it was Smalls. I could be mistaken. I can't remember who the point man was in the stripes. It will be Smalls that's going to start things off. Try to get it over to Dope Sauce. A great pass. A nice connection off to the side wall. American King. Uh, a mean king. Sorry. I, I saw the, I, uh, the AM and got patriotic, I guess. But he was the one first there in the corner and it's going to turn into a 50 here in the midfield here smalls in the middle won't be able to make contact but in turn fakes out a mean king he's here's cursed gonna shovel it over to a mean king who finds a piece of it and this is just the mustangs looking to break out but they've been stuck in their half for for the large part of a minute at this point and they just can't get anything going. They're attempting clear after clear, but there's always somebody in the midfield, and that's just going to find its way in after an unintentional redirect off of Water Balloon. Water Balloon had come up to at least be the first initiator, and then as he got that touch, it's a nice little bouncer. Hey, that's a wonderful redirect. You know what? I can't. I, that's the way that all of my shots go into my own net, so that's totally fine. You have a great challenge, and keep up the pressure. Western Colorado are going to get a third. And this one, you got, if we had timeouts available, this is where I would call them. Yeah, I mean, the, things are getting out of hand fairly quickly here for the Mustangs. It's a little bit of a miscommunication on kickoff. You had two players on top of each other, maybe a little bit of a fumble of the controller. Who knows, but a third will slot in. And they're just looking to get back on track. There's no need to worry about the series here as it is an aggregate of games towards the entire regular season play. So you just want to focus on the remaining three minutes here and just uh, try to mount any sort of comeback. And if you don't make it, it does bring you momentum moving into game three. But you'd love to see something going the opposite direction here. And this may be it. Shot comes out. But Water Balloons isn't able to get the power behind the, behind the shot opportunity to turn it in. And that's an opportunity that is going to sail wide for the time being. This is also something that we've seen from MC3 or Monko a lot of different times is they are unafraid of changing up their rosters throughout an entire series or an entire set of games. They want to get as much talent from their program in these players and these students out on the pitch as often as they can. And it's for experience like this. We go from one post to the next. They had an opportunity. It was a very stark one. They had to do it with a lot of velocity behind them to be able to make that connection. But 120 seconds are now coming up, and we have not changed the scoring line. Here's Water Balloons looking to get something going for his team. Maybe add a goal into their tally. Cursed. Here's, here's the star player you want. The ball in their hands. That shot won't be able to come out there from a mean keen. And Brilliant challenge does find its way onto the ball, however. Here's going to be Cursed waiting for the ball. He'll make contact. And here's a clear by Dope Sauce. It's every single opportunity working from the perimeter, perimeter for Montgomery County community. It's just being read very quickly by Western Colorado. So what they need to be mixing in here is a little bit more infield work as that goal is going to sail in from Dope Sauce. Brilliant connection there to himself. He tees it off the sidewall, reads it perfectly, and plays it over the last defender to make his goal lead four for his Mountaineer squad. 
And that's, uh, you know, whenever we're talking about just having the 3 0, and then that gives you a little bit more leniency and confidence as Western Colorado on these Mountaineers to take some extra steps forward. You're looking to maybe intercept some of these, uh, these passing lanes, and you don't have any fear. Oh, that one again going to the crossbar and out. You got a feel for uh, for the Mustangs. They've uh, been able to find a surplus of shots. They just haven't been able to get them more center lane. They've threatened the net. They just haven't been able to put it in danger with an explosion or two. And this last clear, only 50 seconds left. Maybe find a fifth and instead it finds an opponent and teammate bench. Amin Keen maybe on the transition play. He has a little bit of a breakaway looking for a pass from the far side. But again, that's read off of the perimeter by Dope Sots. He's going to play around another one. Looking to send this lead to five. Oh, Warblings is able to finally make contact with that ball. It's going to fall, fall to Smalls. And he'll play one, maybe attempt a, a goal. You never know what can happen. That one will be turned aside. Yeah, I, I will second you in your thoughts, Monkey, that Mon Montgomery County, you have to feel for them because they have the trifecta of post shots. They've hit either post and the crossbar. They just aren't actually able to turn anything in. Maybe this could be it. Curse with the last second opportunity, turn aside by Smalls. He'll leave it for Sean and that ball will hit the turf. Rest in Colorado takes game two, but there's still one more to play. Montgomery County just needs to tap into what we saw in game one. We saw a much closer venture in game number one. Game number two, we got three very fast. And uh, Fonzek, we've seen a lot of times when you start off behind, be it in ranked and be it in league play or be it whichever, that starts to now play, all right, this is a mental game, especially with 12 shots. Four, they kind of supplanted Monco on their half a lot. And you got to be able to break out. They found that with a lot of speed, good challenging, and they were just not allowing anything of that to develop for the side of the Mustangs. And, you know, if, if you're the Mountaineers, you know, job well done. You brought back what was missing in game number one. You became the dominating factor because of it. Yeah, the difference in that game was largely the midfield control. We saw the Mountaineers being able to control the midfield boost, and that enabled them to stop any sort of clear opportunity coming out for Montco. And that just turned into a searing pressure that e e like led to four or five goals. It was a very dominant midfield presence and just possession game by the Mountaineers. And so what Montco needs to do is look to break out maybe a little bit more dribble play, air dribble clear, something that keeps the ball near to your car so you re like you keep control over it because attempting things from your corner to get it past the midfield just isn't going to work if they have control o over that midfield boost. Well, let's see what game number three will bring us. I want to see everything go back to what it was in game number one. I want to see this one get feisty and fierce, but it's just one more to go between Montgomery County Western Colorado going to stop an early attempt. Cursed, he'll go to the top shelf. He'll get some extra boost. He has a flip reset in his back pocket. He finds that connection, but a great read by Smalls. Smalls has been one of the biggest weapons in this armory for the side of the Mountaineers. And his main man, the second, is Sean, who's able to connect. We see more of the same for Western Colorado here. They're just going to be able to have a lot of presence early on in this ball and just catch Montenco off guard with that early shot coming out. We do see another swap here. Water Balloon is back out in favor of Kabachi. So it seems like they're attempting to tap into exactly what they did in game one with the same roster. Sean going to try one from a little bit off post. But that one will be turned aside by Mean King, who's looking to set up a solo play off the side wall. He's going to opt to just bail and fake that ball, get a bump play. But Kabachi isn't able. Oh! Oh my gosh! Curse was almost able to get that one off an unintentional redirect to avenge Water Bloom for what happened in the last game, but it didn't find the back of the net, and we remain 1 0. That was very curious how it did not go through and all that traffic. Dope Sauce is just going to lay one up, trying for the redirect as an early leap by Sean. He grabs the boost in front of Kobachi, who will be a little bit slower, but the redirect attempt is now Curse was posted up on the near side. Still, what I'm doing. Mountaineers, much more dangerous uh, position at this point. And remember Grant calling out last week, we got to see Kobachi for a limited amount of time. But he said, that is your third. That is your guy to be able to get on a long-term starting roster. MC3, 
They are still looking to see what their pure composition of talent will bring them, but when they bring him back, it almost confirms that they're like, okay, this this is the person that we need to be able to get a little bit more success. And it's good for Kabachi as well, because it's instilling confidence in him that he has that ability in order to step up to the plate and be able to bring his university any sort of semblance of progress at least in, in in these games that we, we we've seen because he was a lot of the catalyst that we saw in game one regarding setting up those goals and opportunities and ultimately losing in o ot but still put up a very great showing in terms of what he himself was capable of and maybe that, that's exactly what they're looking to bring back here the shot's going to be turned aside by dope Sauce. second opportunity by cursed another rebound for kibachi uh -oh. that's going to be a 50 into the net that could have been disaster if the double commit went the opposite direction but they are able to brute force their way into this one dope Sauce. He, uh, he made the best of a bad situation, but his bad situation was actually fine if he had let that one go through to Sean. So feeling the awkwardness and that he had to do the hero play actually took it away from his teammate and instead gave an opportunity to the Mustangs to get this one now all tied up at the halfway mark. Game number three for the Mustangs. You're looking to be able to at least get one game in your back pocket as even up is the record for the side of Western Colorado now. They're at 7-7. Seven and seven. We put them down to at least a sub-500, and they're trying to be able to earn their way above it to 8-7. and seven. Monko now has possession on the back half. Hurst has been really isolated. They've been trying to make sure that he doesn't get any freebie opportunities. Again, overrunning themselves, but not overrunning the ball. Mountaineer is able to keep that one clean. A little bit of miscommunication comes out there between... Kabachi and a mean keen and that's going to enable the mountaineers to set up this offensive dope sauce looking for a pass it's going to be behind sean and a whiff comes out no transition play there as monica was not expecting the dodge on the ball they are here however to get something going dope sauce over the top shows off the speed Kabachi has to go through a man in order to find the save and that demo slowed him down just enough so the save wouldn't be able to come out. Oh, he was on direct line to get there, giving up their life for the play, forcing Kobachi to have to just skirt out a little bit, and the ball just kind of watches all the players, like, what are you doing down there? I'm just bouncing, and we're bouncing our way through. Now sub 90 seconds for the Mustangs to try and get another tying goal we've seen be able to do it. It's a double commit between both Kobachi and Curse. They're trying to find, figure out who the point man is for that huge flick out of Mean Keen. But all that green and all this grass will be washed away. See if they can reestablish some late term offensive with this real estate. Mean Keen is available. Oh no, he sent it to the wall and it will be a miss of the crossbar again. Mean King found a demo on the third man, but the ball couldn't be turned in by Kabachi and the follow-up still not able to find the back of the net by Cursed. That was a golden opportunity that isn't going to be able to turn into a second goal for this Mustang team. This could be it though! Their pass was a dime into the middle, <laughs> but that, that shot's going to go off the post. They just cannot catch a break and the clock is continuing to count down. Father Time is not on their side at this point. As the 30 second warning pops onto screen, they have to go the distance and find one. There's still time, they have a couple opportunities in their pocket, but it needs to happen now. It's gonna go across to the far side corner. We're at the 15 mark, you got a quarter of a minute. You gotta think at a quarter second at a time, it's gonna drop down. The triple commit. Smalls will get credit for the save. Now the timer comes on. They double commit one more time. Mean King's already up. The bouncer's available, but no one else is. Mean King has to turn. Curse has to get there. And instead, there's not enough power to keep it airborne. Western Colorado and the Mountaineers, they will go 3-0 on the day in this three-game set, and they will take down the Mustangs. The heroics for Western Colorado in the waning seconds of that game. Five saves coming out for them, and you see the shot total for Montco. They had 10 shots on, only forcing out five saves. And that just shows you the amount of posts that they connected on. 
three or four shots with just barely off and they weren't able to ultimately turn in that one western colorado going to take all three games and improve to eight and seven they are over 500 and to the opposite end you got the uh the mustangs that will kind of uh, slow down the herd they'll drop to five and ten they're gonna have to recoup and recover they came out big but i think they found some answers if there's anything that were questions if, uh, all right we've been training a lot of players Who's our main? Who's what we're going to keep as our proper talent out there? But, but get those progressions, get those repetitions, and they're going to get a lot of extra play time and experience. And you guys are going to get to experience a little bit more of these players as well. We'll have an interview. We'll have that right after this. Or will we not? Has esports been your dream? Esports is where your career begins. Monthly tournaments. A variety of esports titles. An active Discord community. High quality broadcasts. Third shot won't hit anything. Oh. It doesn't matter when the other two members are there for the follow up. Full focus taking the first two maps. Video recaps of every event. Start your journey today. Philly Esports. Let's make this easier to, to do. Let's get rid of a player. So, yeet him, delete him. Don't even care about him. Didn't have something oh. right. But Dope Sauce will find the first goal. Once just one, as is the rest of their team. Before they get going, and they might get it here. One little whiff. I've been there, I've done it, but this will always be the consequence. That was a great pass, and Dan's will <laughs> end up taking that. I mean, not desperation, but a little bit of helter-skelter panic. Oh, but Dr. Shrimp! You'll be able to pull off stuff like this. That's exactly how I play a 1v1. Sweep and swipe and out behind. That's how you score a goal. time that Campbellsville would have been in trouble. Ski Mask now in deeper trouble after that oh. whip and that big demo. And Curse will find the first for Montgomery. Side of MC3. This one will oh, go underneath. No. And cursed they are. Up into the sky. Will we have one more zero second goal? It will be airborne. And it is Mean Keen. Timer coming down. That one goes lateral. That did not press forward, which means Skoy has a chance. It's a demo! It's a shot! And it goes in! McQuarrie is sniffing out. Chance to be able to put this one away early instead. That opportunity goes the other direction. Jenny on target! And that's gonna go through. Flip up into the sky. Will we have one more zero second goal? It will be airborne! And it is! Mean Keen! Sauce. Once just one as is the rest of their team. Before they get going, and they might get it here, one little win. You'll be able to pull off stuff like this. That's exactly how I play a 1v1. Sweep and swipe and out. He's already put on some early pressure. Western Michigan starting out hot from the gates, looking across, finds gone on the connection after the demo. One away, naps up to it, takes to that sidewall. Sprendy looking for some help in the midfield, got it, and shot far side. Cathedral with some pinpoint accuracy. It's like you said, it's a lot of all right, what will come? Oh, well, what we is go. coming? Sniffing out. Chance to be able to put this one away early instead. That opportunity goes the other direction. Jenny on target, and that's going to go through. defensive side be careful not to clear 
Welcome back, everyone. It is time for a little bit of an interview. I'm Hale Monkman in the booth alongside with the Western Colorado player from, well, that's the school. It's Smalls, man. I'm just all topsy turvy over here, but Smalls, you've been playing just fine. Welcome to the booth and congratulations on your win. Ah, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, so, got to see you play a little bit out there. We didn't see you a couple weeks ago, but see some consistency. Man, you are fast. Got to see a lot of great striking and uh, kind of a crazy series overall. It seemed much tighter in the first and the third. We got a composition change out of MC3. How are you guys feeling so far about uh, y'all's overall competition through these first five weeks of play? Um, I mean, generally speaking, uh, we did get a pretty good win two weeks ago. As you said, I didn't play that. Um, we were kind of all over the place first couple weeks, but I feel like especially this week, we kind of really reached our stride. Um, and as you were saying with that first series, it was pretty tight. But after that, we really reached our stride. We kind of were, we, we were really just talking to the Discord. We were like, yeah, we, we got this. So we kept on going with it. And we finished out that second one with 4 -0. And then obviously third one, we didn't do quite as well. But we were feeling pretty good throughout the entire one of this one. Definitely a lot better than we had in previous weeks. I mean, honestly, when we looked at that first and third, I mean, it, it seems like they brought Kobachi out and they brought him back in. And that was probably the main uh, roster that they, they may be rocking and rolling with a little bit. Uh, how was that third game? It seemed like it was a little bit like uh, no holds bar. We must dive at a couple of these last term shots because there was there was some clangers all over the place where there was a little bit of like uh, hype and nerves. You, get, you guys get crazy when it's in those final like gut wrenching seconds. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Before we went to that third game, uh, we kind of were just saying, like, we, we need to get this. Um, so really, we were pretty much trying to get as much communication as possible. Uh, we were going up for some crazy stuff. We didn't really get um, as much crazy stuff as we wanted, unfortunately. But, you know, it'll come eventually. Um, but yeah, we, we were definitely going all out for it, trying to get that third win. Hey, and you did, and you guys are now at eight and seven. So that's that's pretty darn good. It's about uh, about, about half uh, way through now as we'll be getting just towards week number six. Has anything in, in terms of other competitions to include this one with the Aces series for Philly Esports or any others that you guys are involved in? Uh, you know, you're, you're in this next semester of, of total play. Have you and your, your, your squad and the program, have you guys been doing anything different to kind of really get together as a team or maybe even like uh, upping the amount of practices you're doing? What, what's really been changed up or has anything at all uh, for you, your academics and your school? Um, it's kind of funny you mentioned that because I remember tonight, we totally got the time wrong when we were going to play. <laughs> None of us had warmed up tonight. We just jumped in um, and that was our result. So I mean, wow. I, I, I guess it worked for us. Um, <laughs> I don't know how, but it did. Okay, you know, I mean, why not? Yeah, you some some, some players, you know, I, I myself too, I can identify with that coming in cold. I'm not as good as you guys, but sometimes it's, it's just how you do it. You're like, oh, okay, we, we got to play right now. We got to take it seriously from the word go, but that's cool. Okay, so uh, you guys have been able to kind of uh, at least show up, so that's fine. Some players, they forget the time, they just never even make it to the to the, to the final uh, word, so that's okay. Um, well, uh, you know, final shout outs. You guys had a great win. Anything that you want to be able to uh, give out to your guys in the chat or just over to your school? Um, I just want to say, love you, Sean. Thanks for your leadership. Sean, we love you. You're beautiful and you're awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Smalls, for being with us. And again, congratulations on your 3-0 win. Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. No problem.